now let's see types of partner there are different types of partners with different roles and liabilities understanding of all these types of partner is important for a clear understanding of their rights and responsibility let's see the uh, first is active partner then sleeping partner secret partner nominal partner partner by estoppel and partner by holding out let's see first active partner an active partner is a partner who contribute the capital participate in management share profit and losses and has unlimited liability these partners are those partner who run the business on behalf of others next is a sleeping partner or dormant partner partners who are not participating in day to day activities of firm is called sleeping partner but he contribute the capital he says profit and loss and he has unlimited liability in firm next is a secret partner a partner whose association is unknown to general public is called secret partner but he also contribute the capital he also participate in management he also says profit and loss and he has also unlimited liability in firm only name is unknown otherwise he is like normal partner next is nominal partner a nominal partner is one who allows to use his or her name by firm he is not participating in management not contributing in capital not sharing any profit or losses but he has unlimited liability like other partners in firm next is partner by estoppel about this type of partner we will understand with the help of example suppose ram is a rich person and good friend of shyam who is a partner in software firm on the request of shyam ram attended meeting with mohan traders and actively participated in meeting like showing he is also partner in software firm due to this mohan traders ready to sell goods on credit on the basis of this negotiation ram is also be liable to repayment of such a debt as like other partners so here ram through his behavior gives an impression to mohan traders that he is a partner in software firm so he is also held liable for debt of the firm because in eyes of mohan traders he is a partner in software firm so here ram is considered as partner by estoppel so we can say a partner is called partner by estoppel when a person who through his initiative or behavior gives an impression to other that he or she is a partner of firm and in such a case he or she is also liable to pay debt of firm because in eyes of third party he or she is a partner in firm even he is not investing capital he is not sharing profit or loss or he is not participating in management also last is partner by holding out a partner by holding out is a person who allows to a firm to use his or her name to be represented as a partner in firm such a person is liable to repay of debts which is created through such a representation if he is not a partner in firm he does not allow to use his name and deny on issue immediately by clarifying his position that he is not partner in firm but if he is not denying he will be responsible 
to the third party for any such debts here the this partner also is not investing any capital not participating in management not sharing profit or loss but he has unlimited liability in firm now here you can see comparison between different type of partners are there active sleeping secret nominal partner by estoppel and partner by holding out first three type of partners are contributing capital participating in the management sharing profit and losses and also have unlimited liability but in the case of nominal partner partner by estoppel and partner by holding out they are not contributing capital they are not participating in a uh, management they are not sharing profit or losses but they have unlimited liability now let's see condition of minor partner in partnership form minor is not allowed to be a partner in form because he is not able to entered in agreement but he can be admitted as partner in form for benefit only but with the consent of all partners means he cannot participate in management his liability is also limited and he can share profits only not losses he can but he can inspect accounts of firm after attaining the majority within the 6 month he has to give public notice about his decision if he is failed to do so he will be considered as a regular partner in firm now now let's see types of partnership on the basis of duration there are two types of partnership first is a partnership at will and second particular partnership on the basis of liability there are two types of partnership first is a general partnership and second is a limited partner first is a partnership at will duration of this type of partner is not decided this type of partnership start at the will of partners and will continue as long as partners want and it can be terminated when any partner gives notice of withdrawal from partnership form so here partnership is depending on will of partners second is a particular partnership this partnership is created for completing some project or particular for particular period of time when project is over or time is over partnership ended like partnership for construction of any building or partnership for 5 years it is dissolved automatically when construction of building is completed or after completing the 5 years in other case now let's see on the basis of liability there are two types of partnership general partnership and limited partnership let's see first general partnership in general partnership liability of partners are unlimited partners can participate in management their acts are binding each other and form registration or registration is not compulsory and it ends with that retirement or insolvency of any partner so it's like a general partnership in every case second is limited partnership this type of partnership was introduced in 1991 under the new small enterprise policy 1991 but here at least one partner in partnership form must have unlimited liability and the rest may have limited liability in form interesting thing about this type of partnership is that it does not end with the death or insolvency of limited partners the limited partners are also not allowed to participate in management their acts are also do not bind the firm and other partners 
रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ सच टाइप ऑफ पार्टनरशिप इज कंपलसरी दिस टाइप ऑफ पार्टनरशिप वॉज नॉट परमिटेड इन इंडिया अर्लियर बट आइडिया बिहाइंड अलाउविंग दिस टाइप ऑफ पार्टनरशिप इज टू एट्रैक्ट इक्विटी कैपिटल फ्रॉम फ्रेंड्स एंड रिलेटिव्स एंड स्मॉल एंटरप्रीनियर्स हु वर नॉट रेडी टू इन्वेस्ट ड्यू टू अनलिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी फीचर ऑफ पार्टनरशिप बिजनेस नाउ लेट सी पार्टनरशिप डिड पार्टनरशिप डज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड रिटर्न एग्रीमेंट टू स्टार्ट पार्टनरशिप बिजनेस बट टू रिड्यूस द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ डिस्प्यूट्स रिगार्डिंग एनी मैटर रिटर्न एग्रीमेंट इज डिजायरेबल द रिटर्न एग्रीमेंट विच स्पेसिफाइज द टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन एग्रीड बाई ऑल पार्टनर्स इज कॉल्ड पार्टनरशिप डिड The partnership deed generally includes name of firm, nature of business and location of business, duration of business, investment made by each partner, distribution of profit and losses, duties and obligation of the partners, salaries and withdrawals of the partners, terms governing admission, retirement and ex- expulsion of a partner. interest on capital and interest on drawings procedure for dissolution of firm preparation of accounts and their auditing and methods of solving disputes etc now let's see registration registration of partnership firm is not compulsory but registration provides conclusive proof of existence of partnership firm Some of the disadvantages of not registering firm are a partner of unregistered firm cannot file suit against the firm or other partners. Second is that the firm cannot file a suit against third parties and the firm cannot file a case against the partners also. So it is always advisable to get register partnership firm. Now let's see procedure of registering form. First is a submission of application form, in which generally name of the firm, location, names and addresses of partners, date of joining partnership form, and duration of partnership, etc., is mentioned. Second, deposit of required fees with the registrar of firms, and lastly, when the registrar is satisfied. he they can approve and make the entry in register of firms and afterwards they will issue a certificate of registration and here registration process gets over